How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. Today, we're going to be talking about five things WWE cannot afford to repeat again in 2019. Starting off with number one is having another part-time champion. Now, the nostalgia accommodated with these old superstars returning, it's cool and all. And if it's done properly, you know, for a few weeks or maybe a couple months, it can be done. But having Brock Lesnar hold the most important title on the Raw brand and arguably WWE for a year and barely even showing up on Raw, let alone even thinking about fighting, makes for not only very dull and boring storylines for the main event, but what are we supposed to watch Raw for? Number two, pushing another superstar to the top too fast. Roman Reigns is a great choice for a leader of the ship type guy for the brand. He's got everything Vince wants in a champ. He's tall, he's strong, he's a great guy outside of WWE. He even has a little bit of charisma inside of the ring. But a lot of fans felt like he was being forced down their throats as the face and the man of the company. And albeit, he may fit the bill very well for that. It's supposed to come natural for us to love a superstar, not for someone to tell us who we have to like. And I think that's always seen a little bit of the backlash on Roman Reigns for the years. The WWE Draft. Albeit, it's a very exciting event. They always tend to favor Raw, though. And that seems to be the problem. It happens far too often. Or we see an elite face or an elite heel on SmackDown that everyone tunes in to watch, gets drafted to Raw just to be thrown in the middle of the pack on Raw and lose all of that momentum, all of that pop, all of that crowd reaction. Everything he had going for him on SmackDown, it just seems to get washed away and thrown at the back of the bus. We can't afford to see that happen again. If you're going to steal SmackDown's talent, at least use it properly. For another big superstar injury. It's been far too common where we see a guy become a must-watch main eventer just to sustain an unfortunate injury. The Finn Balor, Seth Rollins, and even more recently, not necessarily an injury, but Roman Reigns with leukemia. There's plenty of talent on this WWE roster, but the job of the big guy, quote-unquote, is to push over the quote-unquote next big thing, but it's hard to do that when the next big thing gets caught in a line of fire on their climb up the mountain. Then finally, a bad return of the authority. Vince is old. I can't imagine him ever fighting again, but one of the most entertaining storylines a decade ago, and even in the Attitude Era, was when Vince played the authority and the bad guy, the villain. We've seen WWE try to relive that with the Seth Rollins, Triple H, Stephanie McMahon gimmick a few years ago, and it just didn't have the same pop. A return of the authority can be a great boost for the WWE, and it appears we may be seeing something like that form once again, but WWE can ill afford to have a return of a quote-unquote bad authority that feels vague and stale. We need something that's going to put us on the edge of our seats, not something that just feels like it's been overfed to us again and again and again, and if it's another bad authority, that could be the feeling here, and it could be yet another failure of the authority. Those are five things I think WWE can't afford to repeat. If you guys like this video, it'd mean a lot to me if you would subscribe to the channel. If not, no big deal. Let me know some things you guys feel like WWE can't afford to repeat as well. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.